Ooh, all right, let's get started. Just making sure I started. Hold on. Just making sure I went live. Okay. Yes, I have. All right. Welcome. Ooh, I'm excited. I'm excited. We're playing Pokemon Scarlet. I am st I'm playing this on the day this game came out. Today is November 18th, and it is 10 p.m. I know it doesn't say 10 p.m. up there. It says 10 a.m., but I'll explain why it says that in due time. Gonna explain why that says 10 a.m. later on. But we're playing Pokemon Scarlet! Now, I have a very specific reason why I chose to play Scarlet, and that's because I like Violet more. <laughs> I know, right? How does that make any sense? I'll explain that, too. What language will you play in? I will play in English. Because that's, that's, like, the only language I'm actually good at. Okay. So... I've decided that, well, like I said, I like, I like Violet more, so Violet's going to be my main copy. I'm playing as a boy in Violet, so I figured for Scarlet, why not play as a girl? So that's what I'm going to do. So for, for, I almost said Violet. For Scarlet, I'm going to play as a girl, but in my, uh, in my Violet copy, I'm going to play as, I'm already playing as a boy. But I'm still going to go by my actual name, by the name I always go with, which is my own name. It's my game, I can play it how I want. <laughs> Alright, so we have the option to change our look from the get-go, but... I think we'll just start off as default for now. Why was it blinking just now? No, I don't, I don't think I even need to ask. Because in my Viola copy, I started the game. I've only played up to getting the starter, and that's it. I picked the starter, and I haven't played after that. N not, not something Academy. Taking lessons from tradition, growing stronger and greater. It did not say that in the Violet copy. It said, what, Uda uh, Academy? It said a different Academy name. Unless I'm tripping. It's time for you two to dive into the world of Pokemon. This is a very orange setting compared to the very purple one from Violet. Uh. Excuse me. Director Clavel, head of Nor Naranja Academy. Paldea is a sprawling region bursting with lush nature and, and magnificent landscapes. It is also, of course, home to the mysterious creatures known to us as Pokemon. They reside here in great numbers, in fact. Yo, man, that orange suit looking kind of fresh right now. And my front door's about to open, so you're, you guys are about to hear my dog bark. It's a Palmy. Now, I've seen almost, almost none of the leaks for this game. I've seen some. Pokemon can be found living all over, in the seas, in the skies, even in our cities and towns. We humans coexist with Pokemon as we, as we both help one another to live and thrive. Nar Naranja Academy is here to help you learn even more about these precious partners. Within our halls, people from all regions gather to study together. Oh yeah, this was my first time seeing this Tauros. When I played Violet, not even like half an hour ago from doing this, I was like, wait, that's a new Tauros! It's a black Tauros! And as Pokemon trainers, they have their Pokemon to- wait, they have their Pokemon do battle, growing alongside them. Of course, we all knew there would be a regional Tauros in this game, I just didn't see it yet. While our robust Curriculum, oh my god, why did I almost say circulation? <laughs> of coursework helps our students draw forth their, their fullest potential. It is within these halls that... This game still has no voice acting, by the way. Pokemon still has no voice acting. I couldn't finish reading! 
We, the faculty and staff at Narja of something, can't wait to something something open our arms. All right, it's it's Coride on D's. Coride on D's nuts. I'll just finish it. Yeah, new Pokemon there. I don't know what that is. I don't know what those are. Haven't seen those before. Don't know the names. A bunch of new Tauros. Eevees. And a bunch of Flamingo Pokemon, which I don't know the name of. Like I said, I only saw so much of the leaks. I don't know what that was. I think it might have been a, a Meow Stick, I'm guessing. Like I said, I played Violet only up to getting the starter, and then I stopped. Because I'm playing this now. So a couple of parrot Pokemon, I think. I don't know these I don't know their names. I purposely avoid looking at some of the leaks. I've seen some of course. I don't know the names though. I don't know the names and typings. I haven't seen all the new designs. Hmm. I've seen, I've unfortunately seen the starters, the starter evolutions leak. Which might be a good thing, you know, that way it can help me determine what starter to pick. But for once, ONCE! I would like, a, I would like to play a Pokemon game not knowing what the starter evolutions look like. So this is our room. If I'm not mistaken, this room is very orange in violet, isn't it? Ah, it's the new it's a new Nintendo Switch system. This one's got a bigger screen. Oh, she got the OLED model. And yes, I have those those are the color Joy-Cons I'm playing with right now. That's cute. That's a that's that's a very cute plush. Hold on, what books do I have? I have a Scarlet and Violet book on on my shelf. I have an actual squo vet in my house. Morning, mom. Oh, good morning to uh, I forgot she said good morning as well. Oh, already in your uniform and everything. Well, it it is your first day at your new school, after all. I'm so excited for you. Still, you might want to cool your engines before you go racing out the door. The school contacted me and said that you're supposed to wait here for... Wait here a little while longer. Their words, not mine. Apparently, there's something very important for you for your first day that still hasn't arrived. Maybe that's the very thing we're waiting for. Get the door, would you? I've seen people on Twitter. I, I, I don't remember who, who tweeted this. I saw someone on Twitter post a picture of moms and, and the caption was, Should I draw art of her? <laughs> oh, I'm sure a certain, a certain website ending in 34 already has art of, of our mother. Of moms right there. Just going to an uh, answer the door. Hold on a second, bro. I didn't open the door for you. Do forgive this intrusion. Do we just leave our front door unlocked for you, for for anyone just to walk in? On behalf of the academy, I must apologize. The late arrival of your enrollment documents. Nah, you should be uh, you should be apologizing for just letting yourself into my house, bruh. And also for delaying my intro, delaying in introducing myself. I'm the director of Naranja Academy. You may call me Mr. Clavel. Oh my god. The director? And you came in person to help my daughter with her first day? Well, I am responsible for the entire academy, including any failures on its part. Okay, good to know. Uh, hold up, bruh. Back up from my mother a little bit. 
So here at last, wait. So here at last are the enrollment documents that should have already been delivered to you. Well, a lot of documents to be put in a bag like that. Good goodness, you really needn't have. Since you've come all this way, can I at least offer you a cup of tea? Oh, no need to trouble yourself. I've got a thing to I got a thing or two to discuss with the director here. Excuse me. Why don't you head back up to your room? Bolded too. Your head back up to your room and finish getting ready for school. You'll need your bag and your hat as well. Now, Mr. Clavel, would you uh, you simply must join me for a cuppa this way. Wow, how can I refuse such a kind offer? Yo, yo, it kind of seems like mom's trying to spit game at, at homie right there. Okay, first I gotta do this. I gotta go into options, change this to fast. Um, skip movies? No, we'll let them play. Send a box manual, give nicknames. I don't do nicknames, so turn that off. Regular, regular, autosave. Turn this off, I hate autosave. Though it might be useful in this game. No, we'll keep it off for now. Show nickname, sure. And... Yeah. Confirm these settings for now. Ooh, let's check out the rest of our house. That's your mom's room. Better not go in there without asking. This artwork is, ent is entitled Patchwork Light. It got different... It's got different colors of paper pasted together. These cardboard boxes sure are heavy for being so small. What could be inside? This painting is entitled Before Juicing. It just... It just emanates freshness. Oh my god. Is this... Uh, this the new Pokemon game? Yes sir, it is. Wait, wait. Stuff is here. The one littered with bugs and bad graphics? Well, bugs, yes. All over Twitter, like with this game's launch, all over Twitter, there are so many bugs, so many videos of bugs. Graphics aren't bad. I don't think the graphics look that bad. Your adventure guide. I probably should read this, but it's it's the same thing. It's the same thing we all we already know. Alright, a couple things I want to explain. So first, uh, throughout me playing this, I have two topics I want to talk about. And that is yesterday and today. I want to talk about my day yesterday and my day today. For those who don't know, it's, uh, it's, uh, well, there's, there's reasons why I want to talk about the past two days for me. And I'll get into that in a second. But before I get started, let me just explain why... Let me just explain in detail why I'm playing Scarlet for you guys. So like I said, I like Violet more, so that's why I'm playing Scarlet. I know that doesn't make sense on, on the surface, but let me explain. So I want to play Violet on my own. That's my own personal copy, my own playthrough. Like, that's going to be my main playthrough. Everything I do is mostly going to be on Violet. So I'm going to be mostly playing Violet for the most part. So I'm going to do that on my own. So that's why I'm playing Scarlet for you guys. Now, like I said earlier, I already started Violet, but I only played up to me picking the starter, and then I stopped. So which, uh, which starter did I pick in Violet, you might ask? Well, where's my uh, where's my Sprigatito gang? Where, where where's my where's my group of Sprigatito fans? I like Sprigatito the most. I think it has the cutest design. Look at, but look at, <laughs> look at, look at Foy Coco here. Foy Coco looks like how my dog looks at me whenever you know I'm eating dinner. He just like food, food, give me food. So because I picked Foy Coco, no wait. I picked 
I, pr I picked Sprigatito in my Violet copy for myself to play. I'm gonna pl plick. I'm gonna pick a different starter in this game. Well, we only have two options, and you take a wild guess which one I'm gonna pick. What I also did in Violet is I restarted my game to get a female Sprigatito. I wanted a Sprig- uh, pff, I wanted a female Sprigatito- Wow, Mom just gave me a whole phone. You you got my phone plan covered too, right? Like, do I have like unlimited text and everything? Like, unlimited data? Like, you got that covered, right, Mom? She didn't just hand me a phone. She handed me a Pokemon too. She handed me a freaking- An entire Rodom. A Rodom in my phone. So, head to the house down your way, and if you press Y to check, you got this big-ass map to explore. I really should read this, since I didn't read this in my Violet copy. The handy Rodom phone is a popular item used throughout the Paldea region. Adding apps to it gives a trainer access to a variety of useful functions. Using the map app, you can find useful information about the Paldea region. If you move the map cursor over your own icon, and then move the right stick from side to side, you'll rotate and view along... Wait. You'll rotate your own view along with the map. Handy... I almost said handing. Handy for getting yourself oriented. You can use the left stick to move the magnifying glass around the map and find locations. Selecting a location by pressing the A button, you can... S wait. Uh. That didn't say selecting, that says select. Select a location by pressing the A button. You can set it as your next destination. The flying taxi service can take you to some places you visited before. Places that you can fly to are indicated in a feather mark. Try taking a flight. Alright. So I'm using the right stick to rotate. What was the left stick? Left stick was just to do... Just to look around, and if I put it over my character, it just centers. So we have a... Uh, 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 um, Aracuda here, and a Palmy here, and a and a, a, a Wingle here. Forgot the name for a second there. So now we just walk over to that big house right, right out there. Yep, I, I'm not allowed to run. At least not yet. Not quite yet am I allowed to run. I think it's literally past that first trainer, or maybe the second one I'm allowed to run. So I, I restarted my game to get a female Sprigatito because I saw the leaks for the starters and I think I would like to have a female of the uh, of the last evolution stage for Sprigatito. This is Cabo Paco. It's not much, just a little pinch of community, but it's home. What you got to say? The power of science. The power of science is amazing. If you connect with friends, you can head out on adventures together. Up to four of you at a time. Alright, we're here. What a journey. I know, I know, you know, the Quaxley gang, the people who all wanted to choose Quaxley. Well, not all of you, but I, I've seen a good number of people who wanted to choose Quaxley disappointed with its final evolution. I've been people, I've been people, I've been seeing people online calling it Water Blaziken. Are, are you these three's trainers? I wish. Can I have all three? Not quite. Uh, it'd be cool if you could start off a game with all three starters. They, they never let you do that, but still. He didn't even bite that. Alright, so I know which starter I'm going to pick for this copy of the game. 
I got Spurgatito and my Violet. I know who I'm picking for Scarlet. Buenas! We haven't met- we haven't met, have we? I must say, I wasn't expecting to see you here quite so soon- quite so soon. I live just down the road, right there. Hey, was it- was I supposed to explore a bit first? Yes, this is our academy's newest student, Miss Egg is missing. Okay, that's weird, but hey, I chose this, we're sticking with it. She will be attending as of today. So you're that kid who moved up the road, yeah. Moved up the road, like right there. I've been dying to find out more about you. I'm Nimona. Normally I live in the school, in the school dorms, but home is here. What do you say, new neighbor? Want to be friends? No! As Chugga Conroy would say. Who has the heart to say no? Of course! Love that enthusiasm. We're gonna get along just fine. Unless we don't. Miss Nimona is president of our school council and a champion ranked trainer in her own right. I absolutely love Pokemon battling. In fact, we should battle right now, you and me! Easy now, you two will be in the same class, so you'll have plenty of time to battle later. And get to know one another better, of course. We're gonna be neighbors and classmates? Nice! We'll be able to battle all we want. <sighs> On that note... <sighs> just staying hydrated. Have you decided which of these three... Oh, there's no three. Which of these Pokemon you would like to like to be your first partner? Well, I think this is my ninth partner, but, you know, who's counting at this point? Alright, uh, so do this, save the game, because why not? I turned off autosave, didn't I? Alright, in Violet, I chose Sprigatito. In Scarlet, I am choosing Fuecoco. What the hell happened with the graphics just now? That happened a lot in Violet, too, when I was resetting. The burning hot sparks it scatters will fry any and all plants in a flash. Would you like to go with our good fire type Pokemon Fuecoco here? Yes! It looks like an apple. You you chose Fuecoco. No no sound effect? You know? No. No, none of that? Okay. Yes, just to see. I got a male one. That's okay. Just to check what gender I got. That thing looks heavy, too. My girl has some upper arm strength to, to hold all of that. Fuecoco seems to have taken quite a liking to you. This is your first Pokemon, yes. Please raise it with love and care. And of course, be sure to keep it tucked safely inside a Pokeball. They really didn't need to flash to white there. I can't I I can't believe you actually chose Fuecoco. I mean, like, way to make the perfect choice for you. You two make such a good combo. Why thank you. Can I choose one of these Pokemon too? Oh, but you d uh, Oh, but did you not receive a Pokemon when you entered the academy? It's like, yeah, I did, but can I just have another one just just because? Not back then, no. I had other Pokemon I was focused on raising at the time. But now I want to raise an, a new Pokemon alongside Angus while she raises her own new partner. Indeed, a rather splendid idea. If you wish to raise one of these Pokemon on equal footing, I shall be more than happy to allow it. Yes! I'll go for this little one. Nice to meet you, Sprigatito. Welcome to the team. Alright then. Now that we've chosen our Pokemon, we have to battle. I'll be waiting for you down at the beach. Come join me when you're ready. Poor Quaxley. As you may have noticed, Miss Nimona is a tad overly fond of Pokemon battling. But I do hope you'll join her for a battle. It will help you get to know your Pokemon as well. Splendid idea, Mr. Clavel. 
All right, let's uh take a look around, shall we? Just take a look around. So, let me get started with the two topics. So, I want to talk about my day yesterday. Today is the day that this game came out, November 18th. Yesterday, November 17th. Hello there. See, this is another reason why I'm playing Scarlet here and playing Violet on my own. I'm playing Scarlet first and then going to Violet to, you know, mimic all my progress. That way, because Violet's my main copy, any mistakes, anything I didn't know while playing through this co uh, this version, this copy, I can avoid those mistakes in my Violet game, in my main copy. You know, because these are open world games, there's some things that you don't know when you first go into them. You know, I very much have Breath of the Wild in mind. It's kind of like the Forest Dweller sword, how that item, that weapon, doesn't respawn after a certain number of them. So it's like, what if I made a mistake in this game, going to a certain location and doing something wrong? Or certain items don't respawn, don't respawn in the whole game, and I used it. Well, I can avoid those mistakes in my Violet copy. So that's why I'm playing Scarlet here as well. Beautiful. I see something right there. But yeah, like I said, I played... I only... Pl can I pick it up? I only played up to... Up to picking the starter. So everything up to this point... Everything past this point, I have never seen before. I purposely avoided seeing anyone play any footage of this game. And I've also avoided, to, to the best I could, as many leaks as I could. What? That's not what I meant to do. That's not what I meant to do! Hold on, come back here! No! There we go. I meant to meant to do this first. Oh, just in case anyone's curious. Wait, 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 wait. Just in case anyone's curious, let's take a look. Level 5. I don't know what those two symbols on the bottom means. Why is there a lock next to the gender? Why is there a lock next to the male? <coughs> and I got a naive nature. I have no idea if that's good or bad. I don't care about natures. Anyone who's curious, my female Sprigatito is a modest nature. Again, I don't know if that's good or bad. I did save the game, right? Anyone can be a po anyone can be a Pokemon trainer as long as they have a po have Pokemon by their side, and it's our duty as trainers to help our Pokemon grow stronger through battle. So, ready to battle? Sure, I saved the game. Perfecto! I'm so excited for this battle. I think I'll use just <laughs> pulls out her strongest Pokemon against me. I trust you remember that Miss Angus is wholly inexperienced in, ba in Pokemon battling. Heh, whoops. Good call, Director. I was about to throw out my legendary and absolutely sweeper team. I was about... <laughs> oh. I was kidding. I guess I'll take this chance to try out my new buddy instead. Wonder what happens if you lose this battle. Let's have us a fruitful battle. Ooh, I like this music so far. Alright, let's see how this battle layout looks. I know this is your first Pokemon battle, so let's just have some fun. Nice. Um, it's only one on one, so let me do a Leer first. Okay, Sprigatito's faster than me. I guess that makes sense. It just looks faster. Yes, keep doing the move that's not very effective. You must have been studying up. Smart move. Fire is strong against grass. Yeah, we didn't we haven't known that for the past 25 years. I think it's been more than that actually.
Not bad, neighbor. 300 in prize money. I almost said pure money. <laughs> Look at you, winning your first battle ever. Well, pff. You know what? Yeah, let's say that. That's my first Pokemon battle ever. Ever. I've never played Pokemon ever before. This, that was absolutely my very first battle. We, uh, you've got even more potential than I, than I thought. You're going to be a strong trainer for sure. But now I want to try a different strategy. Let's go again. Just one more battle. And for Wei Coco are surely weary already from the last battle. Not really. I could do one more. Kind of caught up in the excitement. No, we can do another one. Just let me, you know, spray a potion on my Fue Coco, and we can do we can do another one. Uh, I kind of didn't expect text options in this game. I don't imagine the answer. Well, her response would be really different. Let's battle again soon. You two seem to be becoming fast friends, though you've only just met. I can count on you to take your... Wait, can I count on you to take your new schoolmate under your wing? Jesus Christ, I read so badly. I'm sure she can learn a great deal from a champion-ranked trainer such as yourself. You bet, sir. Wow, she's, she's like as tall as he is. Either she's tall or he's not. Oh, that reminds me, since you're new to training Pokemon, there's an app you definitely need. You have a smartphone, right? Let me see it for a sec. You, you just gave me an app like that? Wow, your technology is way more advanced than us. We actually have to go onto our, our app store and hit download. The Pokedex will automatically register any Pokemon you match. That's the app? The Pokedex? Man, I thought you were going to give me something different. It's a must-have for Pokemon trainers. How do you? How did you even do that? You just reached your hand out and you gave me the app. How did you even do that? It's a super handy app. Our homeroom teacher, Miss, Mr. Jack, actually made himself. He made the Pokedex, or just this region's Pokedex. Back in my day, we used ordinary paper and handwritten notes to compile our Pokedexes. It's, it's quite the age we live in now. You tell me. You're telling me, man. She just reached her hand out and gave me the Pokedex with her mind. I didn't even... I, I didn't even expect that. Oof. Filling out Pokedex by hand. I can't even imagine how much work that would, that would take. Oh, no. I suppose you can't. What? No. No, I suppose you can't. Yet, no matter how much the times, wait, how much the times may change, the wonder of meeting new Pokemon never does. You're right about that. That is truly time, a, a truly timeless pleasure. Holy hell, I can't read for life. And the more Pokemon that you encounter, the more you'll find yourself growing and changing. Oh, I bet. I hope you will both work hard towards toward the goal of completing your own Pokedexes. I will not. Unless that's how you get the shiny charm in this game. If that's the case, then I will. <laughs> I never really cared to finish the Pokedex in, in each game. I really just cared to shiny hunt. Now, Miss Nimona, do I do still have a few matters to discuss with your parents. Could I depend on you to see Miss Angus to the Academy? Oh my god. <sighs> you would be doing me quite a favor. Oh, I can't read. Dear life, then I leave her in your capable hands. All right, little one, it's time. It's time you and I were on our way. Poor Quaxley. No one chose Quaxley. Come on, give us a third rival who does pick the the unwanted starter, the third starter left out. They've done that sometimes in the past. Maybe I ought to make a little more time to work on my Pokedex along with my battling. Oh right. Speaking of Pokedexes, you're probably, you've probably never caught a wild Pokemon, right? Yep, you're right. Never one time. I'll show you the ropes before I take you to the Academy. Come with me. <coughs> so, back to what I was saying. Open your, opening your Pokedex is just a minus button. You can also navigate your Pokedex by pressing X on the map button. Really? 
So it's a minus button for the Pokedex. <laughs> Battle or catch Pokemon to compile volumes in your Pokedex app. What fancy recovers for Pokemon you've caught. Open up your Pokedex to view all the volumes you've collected on a digital shelf and check out what rewards you'll earn by pressing the X button. Press the plus button when looking at your Poke Pokemon you've registered in your Pokedex. You can check that Pokemon's habitat to learn more about where they can be found and when they're active. Explore different areas as you adventure and meet tons of Pokemon. Oh, oh, I was wondering what that is. It's just that Pokedex. Oh, that's cool. It looks like a bookshelf. Oh, so I hit the B button and it and it does this. All right, so uh, pfft, give me one sec. As I was saying, back to the story. So today is November 18th, the day this game came out. And literally yesterday, November 17th, is the day I graduated college. I'm not kidding you. This game dropped the day after I graduated college. And I just want to talk to you guys about that day, about yesterday. Now, I do want to mention one thing first and foremost before we get started. I mentioned previously, in the last game I played, that that uh, the day after I graduate college, I gotta go back to take pictures, which would be right now. I gotta go back the night I had to go back the night after, at 9 p.m. at night, to take pictures. And keep in mind, this place where I graduated is like almost an hour away, so I was very not happy because of that. You know, I did not give two shits about taking graduation photos. I just wanted to be done with this horrible school I go to and just move on with my life. I just wanted to graduate and be done with it. But my family wanted the graduation pictures, so I had to do them. But graduating last night, they didn't have any, any room left to book a schedule. You obtained a sandwich from mom. Thanks, moms. Yo, a sandwich? What'd you, what'd you put in this? Wow, thanks for the definition of a sandwich. A dish made by sandwiching vegetables, meat, or other ingredients between two pieces of bread. It makes a fantastic meal when out on a picnic. Wow! <laughs> sandwiching in the definition uh, of a sandwich? It's like opening up a dictionary and, and the word is used in the actual definition. What is a table? Well, a table, by definition, is a table. Five potions! So yeah, um, originally, I had, because there were no more, uh, no more spots open to take pictures, I had to go back the second night, the following night, at 9pm, which would have been today, right now, as I'm playing this. I would not even be playing this tonight because I would have been out to take pictures and then come all the way back here. So what happened? Clearly, I got the pictures taken because I'm playing this right now. You have no idea how disappointed I was. The fact that I had to go like an hour, go back to the place, which is like an hour away from here at 9 p.m. at night just to take pictures and then come all the way back to back home. And because of that, because if I had to do that, I would not have been able to play this game right now. It, okay, the game was not letting me move for a second. So yeah, I would have been so upset. But last night, after I graduated, I went to the room where, where graduation pictures were taken. I asked, like, any chance I could do it right now since we're here? The staff there were saying, like, yeah, we're, we're not busy right now. It was more busy during the day. Yeah, we can take your pictures now. It's like, yes! I don't gotta come back here tomorrow. So, that's why I'm here. I see Lechonks. What is that? I almost said those are cast forms. Those are not cast forms. I don't know what those are. Now, even though I don't know what those are, I did see the shiny form. I think the shiny form is red. Which, yes! Fantastic. My favorite color is red. We, we are severely lacking good shiny red Pokemon. I think the only sh good shiny red Pokemon that come to mind are Genesect, Gyarados, 
uh, Skorupi, and in my opinion, Talonflame. Hey, thanks for the, the five free Pokeballs. Oink, oink. By the way, anyone else find it kind of kind of bizarre, kind of kind of you know questionable that in the same game Lechonk is introduced? They also introduce sandwich making, which has ham. I wonder if this this uh, first Lechonk could be shiny. Did anyone find a shiny Lechonk like this? Or is this or is this you know? Static, always like this. Alright, uh, X. Ooh, I like that. Ooh, yeah! Why am I so excited to literally catch my first Pokemon in this game? Register. Lechonk's data has been added to the Pokedex. It searches for food all day. It possesses a keen sense of smell, but doesn't use use it for anything other than foraging. I like that. I like I like the way the Dex looks like that. That was awesome. You caught the very first Pokemon you went for. My cr it wait my. I'm crummy when it comes to actually catching Pokemon. Maybe you should give me tips. Anyway, have some more Pokemon. More? Thanks! Wow, ten more on top of the five you gave me. Thanks! Weaken the Pokemon, then throw the Pokeball. Remember, you'll remember that, and you'll be fine. Now go battle those wild Pokemon and catch some of them. Let's meet up back at that lighthouse over there. You can see our school from the top. Or you can just bring me to the school first instead of making me go all the way up there and being able to see the school first. Anyways, I should read this. The Pokemon you see wandering around in tall grass, caves, and elsewhere are wild Pokemon. Wow. Wow. I did not know that. Thanks. When you run into a wild Pokemon, uh, why am I reading this part? <laughs> You can also start a battle by looking towards a wild Pokemon and throwing one of your Pokeballs at it by using the ZR button. Try this tactic out to battle Pokemon that are up in trees or flying in the sky. Lechonk hair? Okay, I, I now have some Lechonk hair in my inventory. So yes, literally yesterday, I graduated college. And uh, boy, let me tell you, I dodged a huge bullet when it came to graduating college. Back to actually being 10. Right. Um, so my family, my parents and my sister, what they expected is, what they expected the graduation ceremony to take place at my school campus. What the hell was that? What, I don't know what this thing is. Where's... How do I, um... Not what I meant to do. Tor... T taro... Tarantula. Okay. Uh, Tarantula. I don't know what I... Okay. Mm. Uh, mm. Uh, okay. Tarantula. Cool. Like I said, I, I think I've seen the shiny for this, which the big ball on the back is red. Like, very vibrant red. I think it was a tarantula, which is what I saw. Uh, you know what the final evils for the starters look like? Yes, I briefly saw the leaks. What? <laughs> look at LeChonk's ears! So I tried that method of throwing a ball. What happens if... So I just walk into one. Okay, so that's how that works too. 
What that say? Oh, effective. Wait a second. Did that actually said oh, effective. What's wait? What's that? Oh, effective. Kind of looks like zero effective. So what if it's not effective at ambush versus no ambush? Is that what that means? I was about to say, like, look at the Lechonk back there. What, if it's, like, not effective or no effect? Does it have an X on it, like, X effective? I can't battle all these Lechonks. You know, I'm a little scared that maybe there's a shiny somewhere, and I don't see it. Because in this game, there's no sound effect to indicate a shiny, and... Oh, is that Lechonk sleeping? Is it? It is! No! It's okay. Pick up the... Thank you. A potion. Uh... You're talking about something completely random? Huh? Oh. So it's not the O effective you were talking about. Oh! It's a, it's a scatterbug. I love how, how hard of a smack sound it makes. Now, I have briefly considered what I want on my team. You know, it, it's kind of, it's kind of back and forth between is it a good idea to cut the decks? You know, on one side, I understand having like a thousand designs, it, you can't really realistically implement all of them into a game. Every game moving forward, I get that. Like a thousand designs is a lot. A thousand Pokemon, period. And then designs, there's more. Some Pokemon have more, multiple designs. So more than a thousand. So I understand that... You know, programming every Pokemon in existence into one game, every game moving forward plus new ones isn't realistic. I get that. But it also causes problems too. You know, now that we don't know what Pokemon are appearing in what game, it's harder to come up with teams that you want. Like, okay, I, they're not revealing what the dex is until the game comes out. I don't know what Pokemon I want on my team. Oh, the Pokemon I plan to use is not in this game? Okay, now I gotta rethink what I want. You're complaining. Why are you complaining? Incineroar got removed. Yes! You're right about that. That alone is, makes this game a 10 out of 10. We don't need Incineroar in this game. We don't need Incineroar in any games. This game is an instant 10 out of 10 for me because no Incineroar. <laughs> But anyways, uh, regarding what I want on my team, uh, is basically made up of the very little information we were given. So I do want, this is, this is gonna sound weird, but hear me out. I want a Vivian on my team. Initially, what the hell is that? Is that a Palmy? That's a Palmy. Initially, I wanted to have the pink Vivian. I forget what it is, the metal form. I wanted the Meadow Form Vivian on my team because Vivian is literally the only Pokemon remaining that I do not have in my living decks. That's it. The, o the one and only Pokemon in my entire living decks that I don't have. That's the, the main reason why I wanted it on my team. The Meadow Form, the, the, you know, the default pink form, not default, but like, you know, the, the, the most well-known pink form. I wanted that on my team, and then I f and then I come to discover there's only one form in this game. So you know that was greatly disappointing for me, but I'm still gonna have a Vivian on my team. I want a Seraledge on my team, but that's a Violet exclusive. So it's like, do I have an Armor Rouge on this side, on this copy? I don't know. I don't like Armor Rouge as much. I'll think about it. You're, well, you're getting the hang of how to catch Pokemon. Are you getting... Wait, no. There is no are you. You getting the hang of how to catch Pokemon okay? Let me see. So far, you've caught... Gah! Gah! The hell was that, bruh? 
What was that? Mysterious cry. I've never heard that cry before. Could some strong could could be some strong Pokemon or something. I say we find whatever made that cry. Let's let's take a look around. Just be careful. There's kind of, that there's a kind of unsafe cave not far from here. So steer clear. And I know your Rodom phone can help keep you safe, but watch your step by these cliffs anyway. Yo, if it's not safe, let's go together. Why I gotta go alone? So, anyways, let me try to get back to the story. So, yesterday I graduated college. Uh, like I said, the place away is like an hour away by car. But, because it was so far, and I had to be there by 5.45 p.m. I had to be there ready. The ceremony starts at 7. And I had to be there by 5.45 because it was like so late into the afternoon I had to be there and beha because of how far away it is we had to leave extra early because of one rush hour traffic and two because there's construction happening around the area so we had to leave extra early we, we left to uh, well me and my family we were all at work we worked together we left work around like 3.30 uh, wait, what? You can you you can head this way later. Oh, later. So I'm supposed to do something else right now. So I, I'm guessing what I hit that I head to that tree, those trees, or do I? Something. Uh, mm, you know what? Just look at the. No, nope, that's the Pokedex button. Huh? Which one's the button for the map again? No, not this. Uh, button for map? Yo, which one's the button? There we go. So I need to go... Uh, can I zoom in? Uh, no, not trying to rotate. There we go. Well, that's as about as zoomed as I can get. So, um, where am I supposed to go? How do I get there? There's a railing in my way. Oh, hello! There's a spot without a railing in my way. <laughs> Real sharp there. Good job. So, you know, I, I fell asleep in the car ride, which was like an hour and a half away. So when we got there... Uh... Well, as a bonus, I got a liminal shot picture taken. Yeah! It's hard to find space find places to take liminal pictures but when we got there it was damn near empty so I managed to take a liminal space shot Jesus Christ Koridon just said leave me the hell alone well, somehow I survived that I was about to say that and then I saw my road on f my, my phone saved my life there Okay. D do a flip. It's it's that one scene of Hermes. I'm gonna jump. No, don't do it. Do a flip. Please don't bite my head off. The mysterious Pokemon seems to be too weak to move. Quick, throw a, throw a Pokeball at it. Maybe you can give it something to help it perk up. Hurry up, throw a Pokeball at it. What am I supposed to do to give? What? Oh, is that what the sandwich is for? Let me see. I could give a potion. Does it matter what I give here? Quick, use a Pokeball. <laughs> what happens if I actually use this? It doesn't seem like that'll do the trick. Maybe try something else. Feed a Rodom. <laughs> uh, Rodom, you served me good for the past 10 minutes. Okay. I'm assuming the sandwich. There, why else would the sandwich be in key items? By the way, yo, look at the definition. Not definition. The description for sandwich. A dish made by sandwiching vegetables and other stuff. It makes a fantastic meal. Wait, no. 
or other ingredients between two pieces of bread. I love that there's an actual description for a sandwich. As if we don't know what a sandwich is. I love how... <laughs> uh, once again, I, I love how sandwiching is in the definition for sandwich. Here, here, ha have my lunch. My mom made this... My mom made this for me for lunch. You, you can have it, though. You pickle pickles? Uh, I guess. Look at that! They actually did animations in this game. Well, as, as, as good as they could. They didn't animate the sandwich going into this thing's mouth. Oh god, look at the shadow pixels. <laughs> I mean, come on. This is our first attempt at a truly open world Pokemon game. Can't criticize absolutely every single pixel on this on screen. My biggest uh complaint would be no voice acting. Then again, I haven't seen the major bugs just yet. Girl, you missed your chance to throw a Pokeball at this thing. <clears throat> Xenoblade do basically does everything but better. I haven't played Xenoblade yet. God, Mom, what was in that sandwich? Should have thrown the Pokeball. What was that sandwich, Mom? Like, was that was that homemade bread? Was that was that thing able to taste the love in each bite? Up, oh, it just pops up again right there. All right, let's take a look around. What the hell is that? Oh, it's just a shadow of the tree. All right, I guess I follow you. Oops. L drastic lighting change. Ooh, liking the the music in here. And why is this cave so bright? Not really a light source in here. Why is this cave so bright? Oi! Wow, you are very far away. I'm amazed I can hear you and it not echoing. You're not hurt, right? I'm managing. <laughs> I'm fine, I'm fine, I'm fine. It's like, what? Your words are echoing extreme. You don't know if the, the FPS drop is from the game or your stream? Why not both? A combination of both make it extremely hard for you to watch. If you've gotten hurt because I said we should go looking for whatever made that cry, well, you actually did say avoid the cave, and here I am in the cave, so that part's on me. No, never mind that. Right now, we've got to focus on getting you back up here. You, you, you're going to need a pretty big rope for that. you just got to find some way to climb out of there. Right, because there are to tons of resources in here for me to climb out. I'll try pulling you up with one of my Pokemon's moves. One of your Pokemon know like Vine Whip? That could help. That could work. Or like Rock Climb? That could work too. Kind of seems like it's waiting for you. Did you did you try throwing a Pokeball at it? It looks like a really rare and powerful Pokemon. Yo, can we like... What is this? This is moss. I almost thought this was like gemstones. I was about to say, is this a bunch of emeralds? Yo, let's harvest them. Uh. That's a young goose. Another Pokeball, I would take that. Does that imply someone died in here and dropped their Pokeball? I'm not allowed to move faster now. Nope, now I am. What was that other one in here? Another young goose. Oh, that's a Diglett. 
What is that? Another young goose? Another young goose. So I graduated college yesterday. By the time I got there, so I wore a full-on suit. Blazer, dress shirt. I put on a tie as well. I had a red tie on. That'll become important slightly later. That sandwich is doing wonders for you. Hey, heads up. Some pretty rough and rowdy... How am I supposed to read that that fast? So by the time I got there, it was like 15 minutes before I was supposed to get there. So I got there around like 5.30. Hello? Do I just move around you? No. Okay. <laughs> Ding! Look out, something's coming. Behind you! It's behind you! It's a Houndoom. Ooh, what is this music? My Fue Coco has no chance. Like, that girl gave me a sandwich. I gotta help out. Okay, now, now, now it might be a little more. We might be a little more in. Oh my god. We might be in a little more trouble. Sure, they're small, but they got the numbers. Oh my god, do they have the numbers? Look at me dangling! I just look so dead by the way this thing carries me. So when I got there, we went in, we got our gowns. My gown was completely black. And, well, there was almost no point in me dressing up so fancy. Because the gown covered everything. You couldn't see, you couldn't see the, the blazer, the dress shirt, nothing. You can only see, like, the top of the red tie, and that's it. Uh-oh. I don't have another sandwich, homie. Yo, my house is just right over there. Yo, stay right here. Let me go over and ask my mom to make another sandwich. What is this Pokemon anyway? It kind of looks like a Cyclozar, but I've never seen one quite like this before. And now it looks so different from a minute ago. You think it's okay? I swear to god, if sandwiches are key items in this game just to change this thing's form... Like, are you, are you seriously telling me the way to change a Legendary's form is a sandwich? Well, all that aside, I'm seriously glad to have you back up here in one piece. You know, that battle down there was really something. You and this fellow look perfectly in sync facing down that hound dude. Well, I, I don't think we we're in sync at all. Yeah, even even my character's like, hell no. In sync? You, you, you need, you, you, mm. the illusion of choice. You didn't even tell it what to do. No, because I didn't even think to throw a Pokeball at it. This thing could be mine! It's not like this, you're this thing's trainer yet. Hey! Let's fix that! Quick! Throw a Pokeball while it's down! Yo, okay. This thing does kind of look cool right now. I'm curious what Miraidon will look like when I play Violet. Do you, do you think this fellow was the one making that mysterious cry we heard before? It's like, well, yes, I guess that answers it. Oh man, oh man, oh man! 
the more I look at this Pokemon, the more mysterious it seems. And my voice cracked there. If you do become its trainer, you gotta let me battle against it. Great! Catch it! Like, right now, before this thing goes! Let's exchange numbers so we can get in touch if we somehow get separated again. I, I doubt if I'm in a cave again, there will be reception. You'll forget exchanging numbers and throw a Pokeball already! But forget the TMs! There's a legendary beside us, and you're not catching it! Let's just go to the lighthouse. That'll be a good spot to relax. Forget the lighthouse. There's a legendary standing right beside us. Back to one use TMs. Yo, uh, can I throw a Pokeball at you real quick? No? Okay. So, uh, Nimona, we're, we're, we're just gonna, like, walk right past that legendary? Just ignore it? Okay. <clears throat> I mean, I get. I guess you're right. It's not shiny. So, yeah, I, I guess we could just leave it alone. Wasn't there a trainer in what? Pokemon... Pokemon... What was it? Pokemon uh, Gold and Silver who was looking in the window? Or was that... What, which Pokemon game was that? What are you doing out here? I love the fact that this thing even followed us over here. I'm not talking to you two. You can shove up. Excuse me? Wait, I know you. Aren't you Arvin? You're enrolling with, in the humanities track, right? And you and are you the son of that Pokemon researcher, Professor Sada? Yo, Prof yo, Sada got a son? Hold on. she a MILF? I mean... The real issue here is what, what in the world this Pokemon's doing out here? And what's and what is with this form it's in? I met at the bottom of this cliff. It saved me from a tight spot. It ate my sandwich. Ah, uh, saved me from a tight spot. See, we heard the strange cry and we tried to investigate. But Angus fell off a cliff. Y you didn't have to mention that part. That Pokemon saved her, but it seems like it wore itself out in the progress process. It, it, uh, it got kind of slumpy afterwards. It could use another sandwich. Well, you should have seen it before. It looked totally different. It was unbelievably strong. Well, yeah, as it should be. But it can't fight while it's like this. This form Koridon takes in battle. That, that's its true form. How do you know it's Koridon? You can't go in the lab, it's locked. I don't remember ever seeing you around, but given the uniform, you go to the academy too, don't you? Koridon isn't, isn't the sort of Pokemon that any old trainer can hope to command. It's special. What sort of Pokemon is it? You think you're up to ordering Koridon around? Then how about I test your worthiness? I guess. Well, look at you. Quite a little go-getter. Man's always angry. I've been feeling all... Wait. I've been feeling all out of sorts. So I'm gonna use this battle to blast these... Do doldrums away. What the hell's a doldrum? Alright, calm there. Cal calm down there, bruh. So I graduated college, I have to- I stood around there in my gown with like two other friends talking for over an hour, just waiting for everyone to get there, waiting for us to line up in order. Like we were all given a number, we were all given a card with a number, and we had to line up in numerical order, not- yeah, numerical order. So my number was number 101. So I was the 101, 101, 101st person to actually have their name called out to, you know, be graduated and, and stuff. 101. 
So it took like an hour for for everyone to get there and then line up and then once we were all lined up we started walking down to the stage you know the where the actual ceremony was being held bro his mom is the professor and his pokemon is only level 5 well i guess that's fair the professor in other games gives everyone level 5 pokemon you know no 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 special treatments this time So in in Scarlet, this dude has you know, mommy milf Sada, and I guess in Violet he has Chad. I forget his name. <laughs> oh my god, I forget his name. Well, in, in Violet he, he he has a Chad for a dad, but that means he only got it recently. Good. He throws out his level 100 out. Is like yeah, I, I was a trainer like. Eight years ago, where you been? But this guy looks like twice your age? Uh, I guess. Well, there are kids out there who look older than their actual age. You know, there. I knew we we knew people in high school who had like full on beards. Co co you, hold on, Coridon's Pokeball. Ah, so that's why we couldn't throw one, because you had his Pokeball. Coridon's Pokeball. It just looks like a regular Pokeball. A Pokeball that can hold a mysterious Pokemon known as Coridon. A boy named Arvin gave it to you. So why do you have it? Wait, what this guy even say? I wasn't paying attention. What did he say as a reason to him giving me a legendary Pokemon? Fine, by the way. I couldn't... Whatever. <clears throat> Never mind, the guy already had a legendary cot. <laughs> Not anymore! This thing's now mine! Wow, that was a pretty drop frame rate. And once again, the game did not need to flash to white there. Knows more than he's letting on. Maybe because his mom's literally the professor. Next time he and I are battling, I'm gonna wring some answers out of him. But, oh right, we gotta climb the lighthouse. Can't wait to show you the view of our school. This is a long-ass introduction. So, when we got there, uh... You know what was really weird? It was really weird that... When all us students sat down, ready to start the graduation ceremony, <clears throat> because, you know, we're here in Canada, we started off the graduation ceremony with, like, an introduction of the school grounds, because here in Canada, it's really big into, like, um, like the, the Métis, the Inuits, or whatever, like, the, the natives, and the, the history of, of land. So yeah, it was kind of weird. They started off the graduation cere ceremony by explaining the history of the land the school sits on. It's going to be great having you in the same class. But all that school work. <laughs> right? I can't wait to get back. Aww. We're gonna get so much. We're we're gonna get to learn so much and battle so 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 much. Isn't it awesome that you can s what you can see from up here? Mountains, forests, grasslands, beautiful nature stuff. As far as the eye can see. And you know what's waiting for you all over these nature nat nature. These natural spaces, tons of Pokemon. Just sounds like tons of shinies to me. I'm sure tons of shinies are waiting out there just to be caught and claimed by me. Consider this my, uh, th uh, consider this me officially telling you, welcome to Paldea. That is a Pokemon Center down there. But anyways, like you can see, it's kind of a hike to get to school from here. 
Let's make let's make it a Lost Platos for starters. Lost Platos. Okay. Okay. Are 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 we going to Lost Santos next? That ain't no Pokemon Center. That's a that's a that's a Pokemon gas station right there. All right, we're just gonna head straight to Los Santos. But before we do that, let's take a look. So after they gave the the pretty weird introduction of you know giving us a, a history lesson on the school grounds, the school land, it then it then went to a a live a live singing of O Canada, you know, the Canadian National Anthem. Which at first I was like, oh god, I have to hear O Canada again? I haven't heard it since high school. And I heard it for 12 years straight, from 1st to the 8th grade, and then in high school. What is this? A Chestoberry. I heard O Canada for 12 years straight. I thought I was done listening to it. But I was pleasantly surprised to hear that random guy just sing it live for us. And you know what? He actually had a pretty good voice. So, you know, I'm not complaining actually hearing O Canada for once in my life. And also... Oh god, it's a Tarantula again. What was this thing's name again? Uh... Yeah, just a... Tarantula. There we go. Tarantula. And I'm really glad that, for once, O Canada had lyrics, or not lyrics, but subtitles to the lyrics. Because, to this day, I still have no idea what, what the lyrics actually are. As a kid, I misheard the lyrics so severely. And I never bothered to actually look up what the lyrics are. A couple of Psyducks, what is that? That is an Azuril. I hear something. I, I heard some sort of jingling. Was that a cleft key somewhere? Sounds like keys. A couple of palmies. Can I go in the water? Oh, yes, I can. I saw something sparkle there. Or was it just that? Just a reflection in the water. So we sat down. The president of my school gave a, a long speech. Which I was also fascinated to, to see that like, you know, his speech was being shown on the big screen so everyone can actually see. And there were some, like, like on-the-spot subtitles being made. Like, every word he was saying, like, three seconds later, it would show up on the screen as a subtitle. Until I realized, like, you know what, he's probably reading off of a script, and they probably had that script ready typed out as the subtitles. Did this scatterbug just just sneeze? So once the uh, once that happened, once the president of my school finished talking, then group by group, row by row, students started getting up, started to go behind the stage and line up, and then once our name was called, there was an X on the floor. So we stood on that X, that's where the camera was pointing. So we stood on the X, and then... And then we wait for our name to be called out. Once our name is called out, then we walk up, and we shake the hands of the president of the school and two other ladies, I forget their positions. So yeah, I had to shake three dirty hands to, you know, graduate college, but it's okay. At least I was the hundred and and first. I was a hundred and one again. At least I was a hundred and first kid, hundred and first student to actually you know graduate. Like hundred and first to be up there to shake their hands. Because oh my god, imagine being the last person. How many hands those three individuals had to shake? How dirty those hands must be for you to to shake to be the last to shake. At least I was a hundred and first. I was a hundred and first to shake those three dirty hands. And then because, you know, I I was like the first group 
to go up and graduate, to go up and shake their hands. So I had to sit there for the entire rest of the ceremony and, you know, just wait it out. Just wait for everyone to, to go up, shake those three dirty hands, and just move on. It was at that moment I, I started to get a headache because it was such a big night. It was so... It was stressful. There was a lot of things going on. So I was beginning to form a headache. It, it just sounds like I'm smacking someone's ass whenever that sound effect plays. So after, after the ceremony was done, all the students, we walked out. We walked to the big open area where all the things were set up, all the backdrops were set up. So all the graduates can take pictures with their families and friends of the backdrops, in front of the backdrops, I should say. What is that? What is, oh, that's a, that's a gimme ghoul. Wait, wait a second. I, I didn't think gimme ghoul's roaming form would be available in this game. I thought it was a Pokemon Go exclusive. Yo, can I, uh... Yo. Oh, I was supposed to hit A. Gimme Ghoul Coin. Material accidentally dropped. And I could... How was I supposed to read all that? Okay, maybe that's like the Koroks in this game. You, you find so many. What was that blue thing just now? Oh, it was another Scatterbug. Maybe that's the collecting Koroks in this game. Is Gimme Ghoul Coins. So what was actually fascinating to me was when we had, when we left the ceremony to take pictures, uh, they actually gave out you know like refreshments. They gave out free chocolate chip cookies individually wrapped, which there were so many of them. There were just buckets and buckets and containers upon containers of chocolate chip cookies to the point you know my mom just like swiped a whole ton of them. Hey, they were free, so we may as well take as many as we can. And then there was also free bottles of water. Now, what was interesting about these bottles of water was, at first, why to go back up? Huh? Okay. At first, I thought the bottles were, uh, were coconut water. That's what the packaging looked like. But no, it was just... What is that? Is that an Iggly buff? It is. Uh, yo, delayed battles. I don't really need an Iggly buff. Yeah, the, uh, the, the bottles looked like coconut water packaging. So I was confused at first when I saw it said, oh, this is just spring water. So we were given spring water and chocolate chip cookies. My sister's boyfriend also showed up to, you know, give us support. One of my sister's college friends, one of her classmates who graduated with her, he showed up as well because his sister-in-law was also graduation. Graduation. It's a Fido. Which I've been I, I okay, I probably should have healed first. It's a Fido, which should be a food type. Not a fairy type, my suggested idea of a food type Pokemon. You know, other stuff like Alcremie and Swirlix and Slurpuff would fit into that food type, but anyways. So, we took some pictures, there were some backdrops, signs- What the hell? Look at that low render dude walking in the back! Okay, the Pokemon. Yo, this place got like air conditioning, or you you two just standing out here in the hot, the hot heat all day. You got like mosquito repellents too. <clears throat> LP. I don't know what LP are. <clears throat> So we took a couple pictures. 
My sister and her boyfriend, they also took some pictures too, because they graduated from the same school I graduated from, but they weren't dating at the time. So now, they took some pictures together with some of the backdrops from the school that they graduated together from. That was nice. <clears throat> Let's go! Pressing the R button is a quick and easy way to tell your lead Pokémon, Alright buddy, let's go! Once you give the go-ahead, your Pokémon will set out on its own to battle nearby Pokémon or pick up items it finds in the area. Now, a friend of mine from Discord did say that if in Let's Go, if a Shiny pops up, your lead Pokémon will not battle it. Which, you know, is great, but I think it's kinda, ki kinda lame. Because, you know, why... In the past, Pokemon games have no mercy if you fail a shiny. When your Pokemon is low on energy, which happens when its HP is low, <coughs> it won't be able to go exploring on its own. So if your Pokemon gets weak, try to heal it before the potion. Wait. Heal it up with the potion or some other item. <coughs> When your Pokémon starts a battle while exploring on its own, you won't need to give any orders. It can battle on its own with auto battles, meaning that you can keep searching the area for new discoveries while watching over it from nearby. Auto battles will decide—wait, will be decided by the strength and types of the Pokémon taking part in the battle. So keep that in mind when you're choosing which of your Pokémon to send out on its own. Uh, head to, head to, head to Meza, Mezagaza. Wait, I should heal first. Hello, and welcome to the Pokemon Center. I don't know where to go, can I register? Oh! Let me heal first. So after we got, ton uh, got done taking pictures, we... I don't know if I'm going to keep the chunk on my team, by the way. Uh, after, after we got done taking pictures, we went out for dinner. Which, as of that moment, was already like... 9, 9.30. I think. Or was it 10? I forget. The ceremony has started at 7, so it was a rather late ceremony for me. We went out for dinner. Um... And by the time we got to the restaurant, it was already like 11 p.m. Because there was a bit of traffic and it started to snow as we were leaving. And like I said, there was also construction as well. Whoa! Ice cream! Yo, this ice cream actually looked good! Mint chocolate chip, fizzy pop, mango ice cream. That kind of looks more like caramel, to be honest. Well, so does this. Teriyaki ice cream? What the hell? This strawberry ice cream looks slapping. And, uh, what is this? Nos... Nockly salt ice cream. I don't know what this is. S this is a shop signature ice cream. Yeah, this this would be the signature. Is Nockly this guy's name? Yo, that strawberry ice cream looked like it hits, too. I'm gonna pass on the ice cream for now. Let's just explore a bit. Glug, gl wait. Gulk, gulk, gulk. Hey, weren't you the low poly dude who was walking around? The low render, low frame rate dude? <laughs> look, look at the way this kid walks. He's like, hmm, what do I do next? There's a Pelipper right here. What am I supposed to go again? Oh, right. That's a big Pelipper. You know about Pelipper? I sure do. A uh, bound suite right here, following its trainer. Uh, pfft, okay. Up. Uh, uh. Oh. Okay then. Was that like the first bug we found in this game? Can I? Uh. No, I can. Hey. You two weren't here earlier. You. You were behind me a second ago. What happened? Can I try that again? What happens if I block this bound suite? 
What happens? What happens? Will they despawn again? Yep. Yo, yo, I think this kid is a ghost. This kid and the bounce weed, they're they're dead. They just keep on fading out and reappearing somewhere else. My followers are gonna love this. A couple of surskits. Hey, that's another kid with a bounce suite. Just gonna take a look around. I see an item I would like to have. Okay. Um, I keep thinking these are cast forms. Well, uh, Iggly Buff and Tarantula. I keep thinking they're cast forms. Los Santos. I'll take as many of these as I can because we're still in early game. I hear there's also no scaling in this game, which concerns me. It's like, uh-oh. Like, what if I hit the what's intended to be the eighth gym first? Let me just go get that item, and then we'll just move on. Oh, that's a Psyduck. Wonder what was in the water there. <gasps> it's a Wooper! It's a brown poop. It's a brown Wooper. It's a pooper. I'm not gonna catch it right now, but it's a it's a Wooper. Didn't expect to see one here. I was expecting a Paldean Quagsire, but no, we got Clot Sire. Is that what that thing's name is? Kind of looks like a very shrunk down and brown Whale Lord. Okay, let's just let's just get going. I see another item. Oh, I see another, another item. So we ate dinner, and at that point, I was falling asleep. Because not only was I, not only did I start to get a headache, that's a lot of, that's a lot of hop ips. What is that? Oh, those are sun currents. That's not a, I thought, I thought that was a whooper. That's a, that's a lechonk. I thought those uh, those hoppips were ganging up on a on a whooper, not a lechonk. What was that? What are in th what is in these bushes? Hello? I heard something in here. Uh, a scatterbug. A pooper. Yep. A brown whooper. I call it a pooper. So yeah, it was like 11 p.m. My dogs haven't peed all day because we, you know, we were out since like 11:30 in the morning, all the way until like damn near midnight. So my dogs haven't peed all day. Uh, so when we went to the restaurant, it was about 11 p.m. I was falling asleep because not only did I have a headache, I had used up all my energy graduating yesterday. So I was like so tired and super hungry as well. What is that? What, what was that? That's a... That's a, a, a Fletchling. I almost called it a Peaky Peck. I definitely do want to shiny hunt for a Talon Flame in my Violet copy. Because like I said, I do like shiny Talon Flames. I think it's actually one of the better looking red shiny. So we ate dinner, which I'm amazed was still open. But I feel bad for the chef. It's like 11 at night, getting ready to close up, and then in we come. It's like, all right, we're ready. F we're ready for our meal. But you know, to my surprise, I didn't expect. I didn't expect Homie to be there. One of my dad's friends who works in the area of where I graduated. My dad was actually on the phone with him, to getting directions on where to go. 
I should probably head back to the Pokemon Center to heal before moving forward. Hey! Yo, this music kind of goes hard. I don't know how... I, I don't know if it matches, you know, a battling theme, but this music... This music kind of... kind of works for me. So there I was eating dinner at like 11 p.m. at night, half falling asleep. Um, and then after we finished eating dinner, we went home, and well, I I, I had a big ass box waiting for me as a package. What it was was my um, <clears throat> uh, Futaba and Makoto figurines. <clears throat> Listen, okay? <clears throat> I went on a good smile. I saw they were available. Pretty cheap, too. It was like 30 bucks a piece. Well, kind of more like 40. And, he, and I was like, you know what? I'm about to graduate college. I'm going to splurge a bit and celebrate. So I bought them. Also, earlier this week, I also, um, I also passed my driving test. So I'm getting my driver's license somewhat soon in the future. So yeah, two things, two big things, I right, know, three big things happened this week. I passed my driving test, I graduated college, and this game came out. What a week. I probably should register my birthday since I'm right, since I'm already right here. Certainly, allow me to get your birthday registered in our system. Now, do be careful to enter it right. You can't change your birthday after it's registered. Alright. Birth month. Okay, month. Wait, no. There is no 80th month. So, birth month is August. <coughs> birthday is 22nd. I swear to God, if I got that wrong... Because sometimes I do get my birthday wrong. Pretty sure my birthday's August 22nd, right? Yep. Yep, pretty sure. Yep. Ooh, it's a black Tauros. Which I hear has three different typings in this game. So yeah, when I got home, I opened a big-ass package. The box was bigger than the actual figurines were. But, you know, I, I guess I just picked a big box to ship it both at once. It cost me $20. $20 to pay for shipping. To get it past customs, because it was international shipping. Do I got oh, right! That's right! In this game, battling doesn't, ha doesn't engage when you walk in front of a, a trainer. You have to actually talk to them. Oh god, how many how many trainers did I just walk past? You paid worse? Uh, 20 bucks isn't a lot. But it is also a lot. For shipping, it, it 20 bucks is quite a lot. And then afterward, Pokemon Masters stepping in. <laughs> uh, so after I opened my package, I didn't even shower. I probably should have given how much I did yesterday night. Uh, I was just too tired. I just brushed my teeth, washed my face, and I just I just went straight to bed. I was so exhausted. Shipping in Canada sucks. It truly does. Not only do we rarely get places uh, actually shipped to Canada, you know, not a lot of places actually ship to Canada. Like, everywhere ships to the U.S., but Canada, no, 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 I guess this is some sort of forbidden land, some sort of no-no zone, where packages are not allowed to be shipped, and why did I forget this thing had flash fire? And then when things do ship to Canada, it's expensive as hell. Only recently did Japan post start shipping to Canada again. 
Oh, I bet the I bet the price will be through the roof for shipping, huh? So that's basically how my day went yesterday. I graduated college. I was super exhausted. Oh, I didn't even tell the story of the red tie. I told you guys the red tie would come in come into play later. So like I mentioned last time, I was supposed to go back the following day of graduating, which would have been today. I was supposed to go back like an hour away from my home, back to the same spot, just to take freaking graduation pictures, which I had to pay for, by the way. It cost me 15 bucks. I had, to, I had to go all the way back, take pictures, and just come all the way back home. Heading to school? Why, yes, sir. Yes, I am. Well, too bad. Let me make sure you're late by asking you to battle. It was like $30 for a small package. Oh. A small package? Jeez, sus. Love your Pokemon, by the way. What's the name again? Oh, you mean my Gulpin? Gulpin D's nuts. Oh no, not Yawn. Wait. Wait, I'm sorry. That joke was terrible. I'm sorry. I don't like that you can just walk past all the trainers. Uh, it's definitely a change. Why did I just walk right into the scatter bug? That's not a scatter bug. Wait a second. What is this? A shrewdle. Wait, I've never seen this one before. I hope you guys know, I don't even know the typings for majority of the new Pokemon. I saw some sort of metal bug thing. Is that what this thing evolves into? <laughs> look, look at that nose. It's got that Squidward nose. So yeah, uh, like I said, I was supposed to go back the following day for graduation pictures, which I did not give any any shits about. I did not care about graduation pictures, but my family wanted them, so I had to do them. My family raised me to the point where I graduated college. I owe them that much, at least. I owe them graduation pictures, at least. Even if I didn't give any rat's ass about them. You feel like they're making the games too easy without any ways of making the game more of a challenge, even if someone wanted to? Oh god, avoid the Bonsley. Uh, I don't really care if the, the game's a challenge or not. I just shiny hunt. That That's just me. That, that's what I do in Pokemon games. I get past the story, and I just shiny hunt. If the if the story is a, is a super easy breeze, great. Let me get it done with so I can shiny hunt. But, yeah. Mm, in terms of difficulty, I guess. I mean, then again, if, if trainers start battling you by looking at you in this game, it's like, where's the limit? How far can they look at you? You minding your own business, and then out of nowhere, it's like, wait a second, there was a trainer here? Oh, I didn't even know that, now I have to battle. Like, this is an open world game, this is a big game. I know I passed a trainer there, I'm going to- oh, jeez! Wow, couldn't even animate that, huh? Had to, had to flash to black for that, huh? They focus all their time on, on world building, not animating. We can, but this game is pretty generous with the Pokeballs, and I guess it makes sense. So yes, I was supposed to go back, but yesterday after the ceremony, I went to the room where they took graduation pictures and asked, like, yo, I, um, I'm supposed to do graduation pictures tomorrow, but I'm here now. Can I get them done now? And the staff were nice enough to be like, yes, we're not busy right now, so yes, you can do it now. It's even better that you do it now since you're here. And then the, the lady who... Was that a... Oh no, that's not a scatterbug. That's a, a shrewdel. What is this? That's a dude! Oh, that's THE dude I battled earlier, anyways. 
She was saying like because it's late, some people who were scheduled didn't show up, but they still had to stay there until like, I don't know, 10 p.m. in case they did show up. So she was saying like, it's even better that you're here now and do it. We don't have to wait for you to possibly show up or not show up tomorrow. And there was a lady I was supposed to battle somewhere and I walked right past her. Hold on, let's, let's see if we can go battle her first. Gotta get that EXP, gotta get that money. So, here's where that red tie com comes in. Oh, was that the lady? No, it was just a dude. Just this guy already battled. Okay, then we move forward. So, the, the gown that we wore for graduation pictures, for my school at least, was red. So the red tie I wore matched. It was either a red tie or like a, a very light blue tie, which would not have matched. So good thing I chose the red tie. Red's my favorite color anyway. But here's where I, I here's where it really became important. My sister's boyfriend, who showed up for support, you know, just showed up to say a congratulations. He actually never took graduation pictures, and he graduated from the from, you know, the school I just graduated from. So, he was hesitant to be like, can I, you think I can ask to take pictures now? No, I probably shouldn't. And then I convinced him like, bruh, you're already here. Just ask if you can or not. And he's like, fine, I'll go ask. So we went over, we asked. I told the lady at the front like, my friend here, he graduated a few years ago, but never got to take pictures. Can we take the pictures now? And they're like, yeah, no problem. Just go online to the website, make an account. That way, when we take the pictures, you have somewhere to look at them. And then we can take pictures. I'm just like, great. You know, he, he dressed up for the occasion, but he didn't have a tie on. So my mom actually, she brought both ties. She brought the blue tie as well. So she handed him the blue tie. And then the they told him the gown's red, so the, the, the blue tie would not match. And then that's when I took off my red tie and gave it to him. So he wore my red tie. You're a very buff lady, Paula. Holy, holy god. That's a, that's a very swole physique there. So yeah, he took graduation pictures many years afterwards. Wearing my tie. <laughs> What did Encore do again? Oh. Oh, that makes sense. Does the same move again. <laughs> Thank you, Tront. Oh, come on. How long does Encore last for? Oh no! Yawn! Why does everything have yawn in this game? So early on too. Yo! Do I have to swap out? How do I swap out in this game? Probably like that. Disarming voice. Go LeChonk! I think I've seen LeChonk shinies like green. Really? All those leers and it only did half a, half the health? <clears throat> so yeah, that's where the red tie came in. I gave him my tie to wear for his graduation pictures, which I paid for. But it's okay because... Uh, now... That's basically my story of graduating college. My story yesterday from graduating college, the actual ceremony. What is this? Another uh, hop-in. Oh, thank god. Another Pokemon Center. Get back on the PALF. Yo, does someone need to, like, 
do a sweep of the region, clean up all this litter. There's items everywhere. Like, who keeps dropping these items? I mean, hey, I'll gladly pick them up and, and you know, repurpose them, reuse, reuse and recycle. But it's like, damn, there's a lot of, a lot of waste just all over this region. Guess, the, guess this is it. You know what? Th this is a good thing. I can walk past you, heal up my Pokemon first, and then return to battle you. Pull a big brain move right there. <sighs> so, uh, let me tell you about... The second part of this, ooh, locking on. The second part of the, the topics I want to talk about, which is my day today. Let me start off by saying, I have four copies of this game. All right, now that I have your attention, I have four copies of Scarlet and Violet. But before I get into how that happened, let me start off with how my day played out. Let me tell you how my day started because it's going to transition into this. By the way, for the longest time, I didn't realize Rookity was a monotype flying. I did not realize that. I even had one on my team. I had one on my team to evolve into a Corviknight, and I never noticed Rookity and Corvusquire were mono flying types. I thought it was still Tornadus. I thought Tornadus was still the only one. So today started off pretty terribly. Today started off pretty horribly, like a really, really bad day. And let me let me tell you, I swear this is the last time I will ever order a game online from GameStop to be delivered to me. Cause I, I was I ordered the the Scarlet and Violet double pack online from GameStop. And I was expecting it to be shipped today, because today is the day the game came out. I was expecting the game to ship today. And because GameStop usually, at least for me, oops. GameStop usually for me ships with UPS. UPS isn't like, I don't know, other companies, other delivery services. Where you actually need someone to answer the door, maybe sign for it, to receive your package. So that means someone had to be at home to answer the door and receive the package, and I didn't know when the shipment was coming. Um, <clears throat> so first thing, first thing that happened when I woke up was I, I saw that there was a packing slip, a, a late slip on my door, one of those slips that says, sorry we missed you, we'll try delivering it again. So I thought that was the package. Oh, I thought that was, you know, the game being delivered and I missed it. Now, I could have missed it because, you know, my doorbell doesn't work properly. Sometimes you ring that doorbell, it doesn't ring. So I was not expecting the game to be delivered, like, bright and early in the morning. So I was pretty disappointed. I was disappointed, like, damn, I missed the delivery today. That means, you know, I can't just play this game all day. So I was pretty disappointed there. And then I come to find out later on in the day that that, that shipping slip wasn't even, probably wasn't even the game. So it was probably my passport. So I looked up online. I looked at the status in terms of this game that I ordered, the double pack I ordered. Ooh, replace bite. Sure. I checked up the status and it said confirmed. When you log on to GameStop, it says, you know, game has been shipped, game has been accepted. <laughs> My status said, confirmed. Let's see, I have a, I have a special f fire. Ooh, round is a special 60, 60 power. But this is a physical move that Lear does the defense for. Wait a second, this is a physical 60, so get rid of this. What am I saying? <clears throat> so, 
So yeah, turns out my game hasn't even shipped yet. I ordered the double pack online. It hasn't even shipped. I didn't miss the package. It wasn't even sent yet. So that made me even more disappointed. I didn't miss the delivery. I did. It wasn't delivered, period. It hasn't been delivered at all yet. So, you know, I really, really wanted to start playing these games. So, uh, here's what... Okay, before I get into this get into that let me let me tell you what else happened today when I got to work I only discovered this when I got to work I felt something in my shoe I thought maybe I stepped on something sticky like a piece of tape because I've done that before and I didn't know I stepped on like a piece of tape or sticky piece of paper and it leaves like a weird feeling on my sock so that's what I thought it was so I took off my shoe took a look at you know what I might have been stuck on my sock I come to find I I stepped on my dog's poop with my sock and I and now it's smeared all over the inside of my shoe and I'm at work so I took off my sock I immediately went over to the sink I washed my foot at least three times and it still stunk it still smelled like my dog's poop so I had a poop-covered sock, a poop-smeared internal shoe. What? So yeah, that that was pretty uh, pretty unfortunate to deal with while I was at work. Thankfully, I kept a I, I have a spare pair of shoes at work. It's mostly because I keep forgetting to bring it home. But thankfully, I have a spare pair of shoes at home, so I could change into that. But I did not have a spare pair of socks. So I went the entire day only wearing one sock. But, you know, I, I tried. I didn't even really want to wear my spare pair of shoe. Because my foot absolutely stunk of dog poop. Despite how many times I washed my foot in the sink with soap. So like half the day, I just had one bare foot out. Just breathing. Breathing and, you know, airing out. Well, at least nobody noticed. At least no customers came in and noticed. But it bothered me how bad my foot stunk all day. Now, it wasn't noticeable. Like, you, you couldn't just smell the air and realize what is that poop smell. You know, you really had to get up onto your... F well, I had to get up into my foot and smell like... Is it still there? Yup, it still stinks. You know, I was just checking. I was smelling my own foot at work. <laughs> just to check if it still stunk of dog poop, and it did. So that made me not want to wear my shoe, just because I didn't want this shoe to also stink. So like half the day, I, I wore the shoe on and off. So I got home, I had to, you know, scrub the sock and the inside of my shoe clean. But yeah, that was a pretty unfortunate. I didn't even know I stepped in my dog's poop before putting my shoes on I didn't even notice now one my question like why did you even step in your dog's poop well my dog's my dog's older now you know poor little Toby he's not not exactly the youngest puppy anymore he, he as of playing this he's over 10 years old so he's an older dog and you know when dogs age their their system tends to get worse so his his poops not exactly as solid as it once was so sometimes it's a mess back there if you know what I mean sometimes when he he does his duty outside it doesn't all drop off it doesn't all come off sometimes it gets stuck on his butt and you know when he comes back in sometimes it just falls off so so sometimes there just be soft stool just sitting around the house because you know it didn't fall off when he was outside where am I going am I supposed to go here or am I supposed to go here where oh hello I'm supposed to go here whoops 
See, that's why I played this game first, before I played Violet, my main copy. I don't mis- I don't make mistakes like that. <coughs> so yeah, that's why I- that's how I accidentally stepped in dog poop. I didn't know it was somewhere in the house, and I clearly didn't notice it when I stepped in it. And then I put my shoes on, and then I discovered it after I arrived at work. So yeah, today was a pretty bad day. The universe really, really does not like me. You know, it, it gave me it gave me a, a break yesterday. Like, okay, today you're graduating college. It's a very special day, a very happy day. But tomorrow I'm gonna fuck your shit up. You know, it's gotta be balanced. You extra happy today, that means you gotta be extra miserable tomorrow. You ain't getting your game. And you stepping in dog poop, son. The universe really, really does not like me. So, how did I end up with four copies of Scarlet and Violet? Well, like I said, I ordered... I ordered the double pack online. And it still hasn't even shipped yet. And I really, really wanted to play these games. Like, I wanted to start streaming this game, like, right now. I wanted to start this game right now. Hello, kid. Are you a... Do you battle too? So, my sister and her boyfriend. They... they, My sister also took the day off today. She normally doesn't take Fridays off. But because her boyfriend took the day off, that means she took the day off. So they could be together. So she didn't go to work today, which uh, means I had to do, I had to literally, I actually had to work. Huh. Because usually she handles all this stuff. But, uh, so the two of them, they were, you know, just walking, not walking, they were just traveling around today. They had places to go to, errands to run. So I called her asking, like, would you be able to head to GameStop for me and maybe pick up a copy? Because I was thinking, if I buy a second copy of these games, if I buy a a second copy of one of these games right now, so I could start playing, I was thinking of getting a second copy of Violet, just to play on my own, and then when the double pack comes up, uh, delivers, I return that Violet copy. But then my sister's boyfriend, he had the idea like, we're already here. You should get both copies. And that's how it happened. So now I <laughs> now I have a second copy of Scarlet and Violet and I have another one of both games coming in the mail. <laughs> Keep in mind I have to pay for this too. I have to pay for this with money I don't have. Well, I really I can't afford it. I really just shouldn't. Who needs four copies of these games? I really should save since I turned autosave off, but sure thing, let's battle. I mean, I could return the double pack to get my money back, but it's the double pack. I called GameStop and they said the double pack is only if you pre-ordered it. And you know, it's not like in 10 years from now, it's going to be easy to get your hands on a double pack that's not opened. So a part of me is thinking, should I just not open the double pack and just keep it as like a valuable collectible? Oh my god, that's, that's an expensive collectible, I tell you what. And... So I paid for the double pack myself, I paid for that. My sister's boyfriend, he paid for the two copies that he helped me buy today, which of course I'm going to pay him back for. So that means I paid for four copies of Scarlet and Violet. I'm not proud of it. I'm not happy about it. I'm happy I'm able to play the game right now, but I'm not happy I'm getting four copies of this game. I don't need four copies of this game. Whoops. What'd she... 
Oh, Rhydon's all the way down there. Wow, doing even better than I expected. You're legit! Oh, Palmy. This thing's an electric type. I forget if it's... I think it's only electric. What the fuck? Wait. Wait, you're terrestrializing now? Wait, when do I get that feature unlocked? Hold on! It's, it's the light bulb from uh, Kirby in the Forgotten Land when Kirby goes mouthful mode. It's a solid strategy. It gives, it gives moves the power of Terra type something. Wait a sec, when do I unlock terrestrializing? Ooh, flinch. And also... So I didn't get this game during work, I got it after work. So all day, I was in Brilliant Diamond, trying to hunt for a shiny Eevee. Because today, of all days, it had to happen today. I got Eevee to spawn in the trophy garden. So that's what I was doing. That's why my that's why the time on my Switch was changed. That way, it doesn't change to past midnight and doesn't roll into something new. So that's why the time on my Switch is set back 12 hours. See, I told you I would explain that in due time. And you know, in the process of getting that shiny Eevee, well, I should say this first. Before I got that shiny Eevee, I went into my second playthrough of Legends Arceus, and I did the shiny Ponyta quest. So today, I do not o I not only got a shiny Ponyta in Legends Arceus, I chose to save it for this day specifically. You know, close off the chapter of Gen 8 catch the Ponyta on the day of Scarlet and Violet's release. I chose I chose to do that on purpose. And then, like, after I got the Ponyta, I got a shiny Cricketot. No. Cricketune. Cricketot's the first evolution. Cricketune. I got a shiny Cricketune in the process of hunting for an Eevee. Literally at a chain of zero. The first thing that first thing happened with the Pokey Radar was a shiny, and it was a shiny Cricketune. So today I got a shiny Ponyta and a shiny Cricketune. Now I'm trying to get a shiny female Eevee in my Brilliant Diamond game. I have about like, I don't know, eight boxes of eggs ready. And then I got the Trophy Garden spawn. So I was like, great. If the Trophy Garden, I can get one here. Then I don't have to, you know, actually hunt for one. Actually hatch, like, who knows, God knows how many eggs to get a shiny female. Because, you know, the... This is essentially a harder version of the shiny female combi hunt I did in Brilliant Diamond where it took me exactly exactly 1300 eggs to hatch a shiny female Yo, I want that food I couldn't eat my lunch I gave my sandwich to Koridon so what kind of food they got here speaking of battling I want to be sure you're, you'll are you be able to terrestrialize your Pokemon too. Great, how do I unlock it? Grab a bite, buy some accessories, and spice up your uniform. You gotta see- Oh, that's right, the event! The event, the, uh, the flying Pikachu event, how do I do that? The early purchase bonus flying Pikachu event. I forgot. How do I do that? 
Wait, is it in my settings? Pokey Portal, what's that? Mystery gift. So, I will be playing Violet on my own time. Uh, but before I truly 100% focus on playing Pokemon Violet, I want to get this shiny female Eevee in my Brilliant Diamond game first. Just because it's the final hunt I actually want to do in that game. I was going to do it on and off while these while playing these games. But since I got the trophy garden to spawn it, I may as well try it before, you know, I lose it. Neat. The flying terror type Pikachu, is that what this thing is? Check Pokey Portal news. I think I'm gonna end this soon too, because uh, I've been going on for over two hours. <clears throat> Wait a second, it's green. Why is it green? I thought it was blue. And I think I'll put Lechonk in the box too, because Lechonk's not something I have in mind for my team. But I do want a Vivian on my team. So I'm going to hunt for a shiny Eevee, and then once I get that, I will fully focus on these games. So I have Pokemon Violet to play up to this point, and then I think I'm going to end this here. Yep, I'm over two out. You know what? Hmm, do I go a little longer? Maybe I could go up to the school and then call, end it. Wow, very, very high res walking. <clears throat> nice. I can't believe the Pokemon Company actually, you know, animated characters in this game. Remember in Sun and Moon, your 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 player character just uh, just smiles the whole time. Ugh. Grunt A. Don't you get it? If you join Team Star, you can shine as bright as anybody. I really should have ended the gameplay already, like the stream. That's a- that, oh, look at that Eevee bag! That's a pretty cool Eevee bag! Seriously, what's with you? Don't you want to burn bright with awesome friends like us? Ooh, sounds like- so, sounds like school bullies. Well, hold on, I don't, I don't like school bullies. Look, we've got- we've got a quota we're supposed to- Fill for new members, so just sign up already. <laughs> Walk away, none of my business. You wanna, you want in on this too? If you're here to sign up, we'll g we'll get to you next. We we've nearly got this one in the bag. No, you don't. We're Team Star, kid. We burn so bright, it hurts to look at us. But you know, th you knew that, right? Uh, no. I don't even know who you two are, or what a team star is. Another arrogant little nobody. Here, I'm fine. Here, I'm finally part of a part of Team Star, and I still get no respect. I gotta work my way up the ranks. Hey, we can't just let something like this slide. The honor of our team's on the line. We've We've got no real choice but to battle, yeah? That's true. You keep watch on that little four eyes over there. Damn. I'll make sure this fresh-faced nobody ends up seeing stars. Uh-oh. I disconnected. Uh-oh. Well, at least I disconnected two hours into this. 
Hold on, let me just let me just try to reconnect first. Let me try to reconnect, finish this battle, and then end it there. I can't believe I really. I disconnected two hours into this. Hold on. Okay. I hit start again. Let me just check if I if I'm back. Nice music too. Yep, I'm back. Okay. Okay, let's let's finish this battle and then call it there. I really should have ended this. It's another Shrudo. Yo, this music kind of goes hard. Sounds like something I would hear in Geometry Dash. Mona comes to save the day. It's that student council dweeb. Oh my god. She's gonna report us if we don't book it. I can't believe you. What'd I do? You don't have to go find Randall's to battle. You'll have all the battles you ever need. With me! Oh, y'all, you jealous, huh? You only want me to battle with you. Uh, it was those team star punks. Wait, they picked a fight with you? Wow, I read that all wrong. Sorry. Nah, I get it now. You, you two got Team Star written all over your, f all over you for sure. I bet you were trying to pressure people into signing up again, weren't you? Ah, hi. We weren't not doing that. <laughs> Ultra rare gift to you. Ooh, a Terra Orb. Kinda looks like the the the, the clone Pokeball Mewtwo used in in the first movie. Wait, was that the first movie? Was it the first movie? Or wait, wait, which movie was that? Oh, is the uh, introduction to Terra typings now? I love how this guy is scared to battle and yet he still does the, the star animation too. You got a young goose. Of course you would have a young goose. Didn't, didn't Team Skull Grunts also have young goose? When, when a Pokemon terrestrializes, the type changes its Terra type. Moves of the same type as this Terra type will become much more powerful than usual. You won't be able to terrestrialize again until you, un, until you heal Pokemon. Oh! Okay, interesting. So you can only terrestrialize one time, one time, period, until you heal up again. It's not like Mega Evolution, only one Pokemon can Mega Evolve per battle, or Dynamax, where it only lasts three moves. You can only do it one time per visit to the Pokemon Center. Interesting. I 
I didn't just defeat this grunt. I annihilated this grunt. So I basically talked about everything I wanted to talk about. Talked about graduation yesterday and how shit of a day it was today. Pun absolutely intended. <sighs> Even the teachers don't know what to do with them. Eh, just let them be. You know, students at a school starting up their own interesting little group, their own little club. I mean, yeah, pressuring other kids to sign up, that's not a good thing. Look at you, already becoming a big hero around campus. I don't think I've seen that girl around. Maybe she's a new transfer, like you. That Eevee bag, though. Love the fluff. Anyway, seems like the troubles died down, so we better book it up to school. Get ready to climb the worst staircase in the world. Ha, she got jokes. Is that a vending machine I see back there? Holy hell, that is a big staircase, and damn, you went up that staircase pretty fast. Is that a vending machine I see? Hold on. I mean, I see like a food court looking place. With an Orica Rio. That's not a vending machine, it's a sign! I've been duped! I was expecting a vending machine! Alright, this is a good spot to end. Before I crash again. Alright, so next time we're gonna walk up this big ass staircase to heaven. And uh, we're just, I, I guess, whatever school has in store for us. Alright, so I'm gonna end this here. Alright, thanks for watching, guys. See you next time.